grin. <laughs> What's up, everybody? This is the Against the Grain podcast, where we get against the grain. Is I'll tell that you really what. Your intro? I'll tell you what, guys. Wait, is this act- are you? This is actually the intro. Oh. And I am being interrupted. <laughs> this is a very special so episode, as you can hear. There are women with me, not boys. This is a big deal because this is the first podcast I've ever done with females, which means I get a whole new perspective. <laughs> Not that I'm offended, but I thought we were our own podcast. Who knows if she was trying to and play it's only cool a, weird a little point. bit? Like Why maybe we could be go. under the man's label. He kept calling it the Prego Podcast. Yeah, wow! That's what Let's I, go hot I, I, I didn't know we were. Oh, did oh, y'all no. know we were something new? No, wait a I second. Did y'all know? Did y'all wait? Yeah. Okay. That's, hold on. Hold I on. We were just a guest. No, no, I mean, we could be no. under the man's label. No, no, no. that's They've fine. Been fine. This for I, yeah, I'm cool. I was just you kept wow. you kept calling it the Prego podcast. So I think I <laughs> the took Prego that. Pod? So I think that I took that name. a liter too literally. <laughs> really oh, I can do that too. Label it. The Prego podcast. What's up, everybody? This is against the grain. Not for that. You're not for that. Well, I mean, like, what do we do in July then? I, yeah. <laughs> Freaking get after <laughs> it! No. What are you guys doing? The half Prego <laughs> podcast. <laughs> yeah. Oh no. Yeah, no. Post no, mortem podcast. Can, no. I don't know. No. No. Posty. No. Posty. No. Post. No. Post. Post. Oh, postpartum. Post. What is post mortem? Oh, uh, oh, is that death? Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> My bad. The posty podcast. We'll just call it that. No. I think if anything, it needs to be more like mom or motherhood related as opposed to being because you're not pregnant and pregnancy is like this minuscule part of like the whole journey three, three moms in sky <laughs> <laughs> yeah know. or boy moms or something you know oh yeah boy moms mm-hmm. unite yeah until yeah. i'm like interesting maybe in until five maybe, or ten years one of us you know, will just Somehow, get a we girl. might end up need to be a doctor for ten years. <laughs> I'm not oh, sure it's possible. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know Nobody's either. having a girl. Fingers crossed. I'll be done in ten years from now. <laughs> yeah, and, uh, you never know. I mean, I don't know when I'm going to get married, and I have no idea when I'll have kids. And I have a feeling that I'll have a girl. You know, really? Yeah, I just get I that can feeling. See that. He's gonna be the first, for sure. or maybe yeah. Josh and Rachel. I was gonna say oh. Josh and Rachel. Yeah. Oh next yeah. Next year we'll get the big next announcement. Year. Oh my gosh, next year? <laughs> no, I'm no. Jeez, for the audience out there, I think they'll yeah, get married is, next year. I think this yeah. time They're next year they'll be getting married. Yet. Yeah. yeah. I think a springish. I think wedding. spring. Yeah. I could see a fall, a Christmas. Really? Christmas engagement. Right, I'm going. Yeah. I'm going for the intro. We good? I want to start with introductions. So, Kara, tell the audience about yourself. Well, I'm Kara, and I am... Uh, How far along are you? I'm, I'm 30 weeks, so three quarters of the way through. Yeah. Um, 10 weeks to go. Less than 10 weeks, theoretically. Yeah. yeah Little this boy is, on the way. Such a big deal for me. I don't know why. It's like, man. What else do you want to know? Oh, whatever you want to tell. I don't care. Do you have a name? Yeah, we do have a name. We're going to name him Luke, which is... Just a normal name, not a family name or anything there. Just uh, one we liked. We liked simple things. Biblical, too. Biblical. Oh, yeah. What did your mom say? Oh, yeah. My mom, <laughs> she said, she was like, I could have guessed that. Like, I thought it would be something short, something traditional, biblical. She's like, I was guessing Noah myself. But, you know, Luke, that's a good one, too. Yes. <laughs> One syllable. Too. Yeah, no, Noah. Noah's, but Noah's so popular it right is. now. I think it's the number one name. So. And not that Luke's probably not in the like top ten. Like I haven't. I actually bet you money it's not super high on the list anymore. I haven't heard of very many Luke's, you know, lately. How do you guys find this stuff out? Like, where are you looking for all the names? Google it. Popular names. Yeah. Pop culture names. Baby list is a big one. Oh, they do track it, and you can Mm -hmm. go on the social security website and look at it. What? Yeah, Yeah. (laughs) I haven't checked Luke though. Yeah, they actually. But I know Noah is up there. What on earth? I should check Luke. If you look up a name, it'll tell you like this is number six hundred and fifty-eight in the list of popular names. What on earth? Okay, I guess next up is uh, Michelle. Hi, I'm Michelle. I am 29 weeks pregnant with a little boy, and we are not sharing the name. So I was going to ask. Wait, there's no public knowledge on that, name? right? 
we I have used... a top contender. Okay, oh, they keep saying yes. top contender, and we're just waiting. You I know, think we're all but making our predictions. Yeah. On I think we are too. So. Kara has hers. I have mine. Yeah, they but are different. I'm sure it's somewhere on the list. I'm sure, but huh. I would like a more unique kind of maybe middle name or something. Nothing yeah. crazy, but yeah. you know. You know, I guess whenever I introdu- introduced this podcast for the listeners, it wasn't necessarily supposed to be directly related to pregnancy, but I made it that way. <laughs> That's my fault. So you guys can talk a little bit about yourself as well if you want. <laughs> like, I feel like once you become pregnant, though, like it just kind of becomes is. that you. is who you are. Yeah, <laughs> no matter I guess. who you talk to, that's that's all they that's all they want to talk about, and you just get used to Does it. Does that piss you all off? You like, no, hey, I have feelings no. too. I mean, in my like <laughs> a little bit, yeah. <laughs> there you well, go. Like what? Well, like you know, at work, people talk about things and whatever, and now I come in, and they're just like, "Oh, how are you?" Yeah. Hey, baby, and I'm like, "That's good." Like, I'm glad you're asking. It's very nice and polite, but like, you go in you one know. day a week, yeah. right? Yeah. So yeah. they're so like, they're like, <laughs> every week. <laughs> yeah, every you're like nothing. What's the weekly update on your pregnancy? Yeah. Right? Yeah. Wow. Have yeah. you gone on a hospital tour yet? This that I'm like, yes, yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I will say with the second one though, I have not gotten as many like yeah people questions like, or anything like that. Yeah, do, do people? Que- you know what? I'll ask this question in a second. Mm-hmm. Missy, you're next. So if you want to explain or right, tell people about yourself, <laughs> I'm Missy. Um, I am a second time mom now. I have a little boy named Tate. He's 18 months. Actually, tomorrow I think. Right? Is tomorrow the 29th? Um, Where is that Sunday? No, Sunday. 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 Saturday. Wait, sa- Saturday. Yes, Saturday. Today, Saturday. Today was yeah. the 27th, right? Yeah. Yep. So yeah. two more days. He'll be 18 months. Um, And then I am 18 weeks tomorrow with our second little boy. And we do have a name. We are naming him Case with a K. What and was that? Case with a K. Yeah, I know, but like. K-A-E. Yeah. That just seemed like you. Are you cool with that? Yeah, that's how I wanted it. You like yeah. that name? Okay, well, all right. Because. I know your inflections Nolan. and you were like, case with a K. Like, you realize what's going to happen. Unfortunately, it's going to be one of those things. Everyone's going to think it starts with a C. Oh, yeah. Yeah, which, you know, sorry. Like, like a regular case oh, yeah. of something. Right, and that's why right. I went against it. <laughs> I was unsure about the name at first, but Nolan really liked it, and he wanted to do C-A-S-E. But I was like, that reminds me of briefcase or suitcase. Right. So yeah. I like the name Casey. Let's do K A C E and just chop the Y off. You like the name Casey, mm-hmm. but you didn't want to do Casey. No, he said he didn't like names that end in Y. Ah, uh, that's funny. I'm like, well, thank you. Wait, Michelle, Kara, <laughs> oh, Missy. Missy, yeah, but Melissa, right? I mean, that's the real name. Yeah, so nickname but I, Missy. Yeah, okay. I agree with him, hundred percent. Well, so now I should go by Melissa. No, but you should I don't look like. No, because I don't we know. Feel like it. We like, know. You go by your middle name. It's because no. we know deep down. <laughs> We know deep down that you're not actually a Y ender name, you know. Oh, I didn't know that was a thing. Like ending in Y was like is that a bad type thing? Of not for not guys, it's not. Thing. But for girls, know. it's like a thing. Oh, okay. Like it's like. Uh, I'm sorry for anybody whose name ends in a Y. It's like I E. Yeah. I E. Okay. Or Y. Interesting. Huh. Yeah. It's hmm. dumb. It's not real. It's just a freaking stigma people put on it. It's pop hmm. culture. They're crazy. I've never heard of it. Like we, I've had those women are crazy. My yeah. Whole life. <laughs> yeah, that's what it is. I'm serious. It's like a thing. I'm glad I don't go by Shelly anymore. <laughs> right? There you go. Right? Oh my gosh. I don't yeah. know if I could call you Shelly. Yeah. I don't yeah. think I could. Is that when you were a kid that's what you went by? Yes. Yeah, so like my family and any like childhood friends still call me Shelly. I don't think it's that big of a deal. I I think I don't put a lot of stock I'm in it. Sure, it doesn't. Mean Crystal was uh, me. not a Y. Yeah, Crystal was not a Y, and she's insane. So <laughs> she had a Y you know in I mean? her name. Yeah, maybe why. that was yeah. Maybe that's it. Started with a freaking K. Her last name was Kilbasa. Come on, dude. Like the sausage. No, no like, it wasn't. Yeah, Kilbasa. What? Yeah, it was spelled like the sausage. Like that. Well, the famous you whatever. Known better from the wow. Stuff. I guess I wow. thought she'd be famous. That's not true though. Not famous she's in what I thought she'd be in famous. A yeah, yeah, yeah. Kilbasa. Might be the one of the I reasons. I think anybody could just Google her name and know <laughs> Wow. Exactly okay, for about. the audience, please do not Google that. Wow. <laughs> Holy crap. Not at work, at least. <laughs> no, oh my gosh. NSFW, guys. NSFW. Uh, the first thing I want to bring up, actually, is a – it's just a topic that's hot right now. It's current event, obviously. Uh, it's about Steven Crowder. You guys may not know who she is. We already explained that pre-pod, you know. 
But uh, he's just a political, I would say, political pundit, I guess. He's on YouTube. He did the whole change my mind thing with uh, in front of college campuses where people would come up to him and argue with him, and he just started debates. He was one of the first ones that did that uh, before Ben Shapiro and all the other guys did the same thing. Has a YouTube channel. Super big. Makes a lot of money from it. Um, his wife, I guess this is a video, the first video we've seen of his personal life, which when you're that famous, um, it's expected. However, the introduction to this topic would be, you know, some people have things that they don't want to share. So there's the first thing I'll say. So that's like the, the, uh, disclaimer because people are getting super pissed at Steven Crowder because he is an emotionally abusing his wife essentially. Mm, right. Okay. I'm going to play this clip. We will be able to hear it. So. So is this something that got leaked or did he post this? Like what it. Yeah, this is his ring. And so I, maybe his wife or his family put it on, uh, there. Put it on there because oh. they're getting, they're getting a divorce. Oh, and okay. his divorce attorney pre oh. before this said, Hey, I don't want you talking about your marriage ending on your show to Steven Crowder. He did. Right. He talked about it. He went yeah. ahead and just did it anyway. Um, I'm not sure that's a whole different subject because yeah, I yeah. kind of, I'm kind of on Steven when you're that person and you're public and you're on a podcast mm-hmm. kind of thing. It would I'm open. Anyways, I'm open about it, everything. Yeah. And I would rather me say it to my audience and talk about it yeah. and someone else come up with some kind of leaked footage like this. Yeah. yeah. Right. But it was a little too little too late. What gonna, did he say? I'm going to play this and you guys will be able to hear it. Okay. Take our headphones. It's not supposed to play through the TV. It's supposed to play through the. Oh, okay. So let's get it going here. Let's see. Okay, it doesn't matter. If you guys want to listen to it, we can real quick. Yeah. The headphones yeah. off. It sucks for the listeners because you won't be able to hear it. What I'll do is I'll splice it in so they'll be able to still hear it yeah. later. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's it. That's all we got. Oh. So it's literally 20 seconds. That's all the leaked footage that we've seen. Okay. And what's funny is from that, people are gathering, which you never know. People argue. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like marriages, you have arguments, you know? I don't know about that. I'm not sure. Supposedly, the full story is on here. And I guess I'm not sure where they're getting this info from. I'm not sure if the guy leaked it to him specifically. This is, he has like a million followers on Twitter and he's a news guy. He's a reporter. Um, that's as far as trustworthiness as I can say, cause I don't really know for sure. You know what I mean? could be anything, right? Um, you guys are like, why are you bringing this up? The reason I'm bringing this up <laughs> is because the reason I'm bringing this up is because I'm asking you guys like what you guys think about what is emotional abuse in a marriage. You know what I mean? Just an argument? Like, is that emotional abuse? No. And here's the story. He uh, apparently wanted her to uh, give the dogs medicine, and she didn't want to because it's not good for the baby. Um, I don't know how the dog medicine relates to that, but I guess mm. it does. Maybe she doesn't want to doesn't want to handle it. Touch it. Doesn't want to touch it. Maybe mm. it's an injection thing. It's a shot that you give the dogs. Oh, okay. Um, and oh, he, she's pregnant. Right, she's okay, pregnant. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And he with twins, which they she already had the oh twins. My God. This is a, this is a previous. This mm, isn't a current okay. video. This is something that just got leaked now. Mm. Um. So apparently, she already had the twins, and they live in Dallas. But that also relates because we're in Fort Worth. Mm. Anyway, uh, the whole story is yeah. He wanted her to do that. She wouldn't do it. They only have one car. Which another? How do they only have one car? They're Stephen Crowder. He's like mm. a millionaire, dude. You know what mm. I mean? I get well, you know, and that's another question. You guys had <laughs> for so Michelle. No, no, like, no, no, uh, check this out. <laughs> check this out. So, so how? What is that like? You know, you have one car. Is it, but it wasn't by choice. No, probably not. 
right? Um, well, when we were moving around, it was just easier with one no, car. Oh, of course. But and when we you were get... both working from home, so it's. Yeah. Okay. Right. You both work from but home. Now, yeah. from okay, home too. but they have like a baby on the way. But yeah, right. yeah. So that's why we got a second car was yeah. because we had a kid on the way. To be clear, yeah. yeah now you have a second car, and right? Like with okay. twins. Holy moly! That is kind of yeah. weird. That, and just being in the position they are. Yeah, right? he didn't want her to take the car, so that was the where the argument started. Oh. And then he's like, "You wouldn't do this medicine thing," so I'm pissed. And mm. this is the story anyway. And so I'm not gonna let you take the car or whatever kind of thing, right? Mm. So he was trying to get her to take an Uber. Um, but that's safer while, while he's sitting there doing that, I guess. Right. I don't know, dude. And that I'm not really weird. mad at the guy cause I really don't know any of the stories well, here. Yeah. And you really what don't I'm getting know at, what's true and what's not. Yeah. You know? well, the yeah. main, the main topic I'm trying to bring up here, this is taking forever to tee up. <laughs> I'm so sorry guys. Is the emotional abuse question. Like what, what is emotional abuse? Mm. Do you guys have any idea? Like, do you guys think about like any of that? Like, have you ever had a friend like that was like this manipulative person or whatever? Or like in a the, relationship where somebody was, or you were in a relationship abusing? where someone was emotionally abusive, like yeah. previously. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. uh, I mean, I have like for Nick. Sure. I don't know. Wasn't no, he? No, I don't no, freaking no. know. I'm just no. naming exes that I know about. No, no, I was no, no, no. <laughs> I'm not saying I was in a relationship like that. I don't have experience with that. No, but I'm saying I I have a friend that was once dating somebody that was emotionally abusive. Yeah, um, and I think a lot of that was more like put downs. You know what I mean? Oh, weird. Like, and more she, of a pattern of it. Yeah, like, like this mm. was this just a one off or right? I mean, no, this was know. somebody. Sh- well, oh, I mean, yeah, like yeah, this yeah. video, we don't know, but yeah, and obviously they're married, so they're divorced. They're getting divorced. Or they're now, getting a but, divorce, but right. they've been together for a really long time. You know, supposedly, yeah. We don't know much about that either. And yeah. if she's the one that submitted this video, it's possible. Who knows if she was trying to. And Play it's only it cool a weird a little 20 bit. seconds. Yeah. Yeah. Like, she's not she directly linked to it, I'll say that. I mean, we don't know. But that's the only thing I can come up with. Uh, Who else would link it? It's on your Ring yeah. footage. How That'd be one of the two of them. And like Ring.com, if someone else has access, that just means that Ring.com has a serious security mm. issue. Mm. Mm. That's a whole other case. Isn't it? Yeah, that's a freaking <laughs> yeah. cybersecurity issue, you know, yeah. uh, for someone to be able to get a hold of this footage. But I have a feeling that in a divorce like this, don't you guys, like, like attorneys like fight, right? Yeah. attorneys are basically yeah. like i'm gonna get more than you kind of thing right right so i'm expecting that it could have been a, an attorney thing he's like you know what yeah. let's leak this you know mm. to make him mad at steven seems mm. like a weird clip like where's the rest of it's it? dumb yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's dumb. Yeah. i think it's too short to know. like really draw any conclusions on for sure so i think I appreciate emotional that. Yeah. abuse is very a lot more deep a lot more things involved a lot of things i think people on the outside don't see right mm-hmm. like i mean how many times have you heard of you know, people getting separated and stuff. And you're like, I just, I don't see it. Like, I don't understand right. why, which I think a lot of that deep down is emotional. Right. You know, on one side or the other. Yeah. And I'm glad you guys said that. I just was asking y'all's opinion. I, that's kind of what I think too. I just yeah. didn't know what y'all would say. Like, cause I, yeah, it's too little. You don't know anything mm-hmm. about their yeah. life. Yeah. I do think it's interesting that, um, I don't know, this might sound bad, but that they got as far as they did, Pregnancy wise, you know, normally emotional abuse is something that goes on for a while. I just. Oh, you, you know mean, I mean she didn't have a miscarriage? No, no, no. Like, what do you mean? I, like, because of, of the stress? They got far I enough I in at. her relationship that they wanted to have a baby. Uh, or maybe it was just a surprise. Kids? Okay, I but hold know. on a second. Do you guys, some people think that whenever you have a baby, it fixes things, right? You'd have to put uh, nutty. There's isn't that something? Nutty, yeah. Oh my gosh, that's nutty. I thought that was common. Is that not common? I mean, people you're adding more that, stress but... into your relationship. So yeah, I think one hundred percent you are. I agree with yeah. it. I'm saying that I've heard some people say yeah. like we did this to fix our marriage. That night. I really thought people usually oh, wow. do it to trap people into a marriage. Yeah. Wow. That's what Let's I, go hot I, take. <laughs> oh. Hot that's take, my, dude. I, yeah, I agree with that. Yeah, so I, all uh, the dudes out there, keep keep eyes on it, you know? <laughs> I, it, I'd be curious to see in this relationship, like, how this pregnancy not happened, but, like, like how yeah, did it happen? Yeah, like, what, right. Were Where they both they like, why do they let's decide have that? a kid? Like, if she really feels like she's being abused, like, why would you want to have children with How somebody that's How long were they together? I, I'm not actually sure. That sounds very judgy, but yeah. I don't know. Well, you no, just don't. I mean, adding I pregnancy know. to this video adds a whole different element to yeah. it, honestly. I mean, it basically just says she was dealing with this for years. I don't know. 
oh, see, yeah. like that's to me, she that's made a crazy. statement to her family saying she's been dealing with this for years. Yeah, I mean, I don't know I, why you'd want to get. I don't right? know and if you already feel like like in if that she situation. feels like she's being abused and in danger. Why would you put a kid into why that would, situation? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, that's that's wild. I don't know. I don't think I would. Yeah, it doesn't say how long they're married. Shoes. Anyway, the Crowders were married in 2012 after dating for two years and being engaged less than a year. Go down. It's hilarious that I did look at this and then she just <laughs> takes one <laughs> glance at it, bro. Two seconds. Go down. There you go, right below the little box. Yeah, that's mm. amazing. This is a testament to how good women are at like just finding stuff finding like that. Things. Like you, you'll be like, "Hey, go get this out of the fridge," and I'm like, "Ah, I, don't know. I can't find that." Does that happen to y'all? I feel oh, like Kara and Jordan yeah. are probably very good at finding specific things in their home. I don't know. Because they tend to stay in that place, whereas mm. I feel like Michelle yeah. relates in this <laughs> way with me where things just happen to be in the wrong place all the time. Interesting. Yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm yeah. not sure. I think, uh, I don't know. I don't know. I, don't, I can't find things that well. Like, because yeah. you'll, like, someone will point it out. Like, growing up, even my mom was like, go find this. It's here, here. And I'm like, okay. And I go and try to find it. And I'm like, I don't see it. And it would well, be right behind yeah. the ketchup or something, you know? I'll know where things are, even though they don't have a space. I'm not super right. organized, <laughs> right. but I know. Yeah. Interesting. <laughs> All right. 2012. Kids, that's good. Though? Yeah, but they've oh, been, man. so they've, that's a long time to be together. Yeah. And look, it says that she filed for divorce after she found out that he hired a divorce attorney. So that's weird, too. Yeah. Like, so he was already yeah, thinking but, this, and then she's like, oh, crap, like, he's doing this, and now I got to get on the offensive. Interesting, I need yeah. half the money. I mean, I have yeah. no Like, idea. what are we doing here? Like, I mean, maybe, I don't know what she does for a living, right? I don't, maybe she was in it for the money. Why would she, for 12 years, in 2012, he was not that big. Oh, no, I, I wouldn't He wasn't that big in 2012. Think she so there was, was no way. Money, yeah, there was no, no way he was, she was in it for the money. Crazy. Yeah. Mm. What's funny is that was just a small topic. Like, I just oh. was like, let's just throw <laughs> yeah, this up and see what happens. Let's move on. Let's hear a big topic. <laughs> really this is not huge topics i tried to keep it light but what i want to talk about <laughs> next is like uh pregnancy foods and what you guys have been told mm -hmm. so i kind of oh. want you to walk me through this because the thing is i have no idea right and i think most guys don't have any idea honestly moms to be probably don't have any idea but like what the doctor tells you like what are these instructions that you get from the doctor I you know they give you a flyer and say, yeah Read this and call if you have questions seriously but then, yeah but then you might call and they probably won't even answer so Mine didn't even give me a flyer. Anymore. Yeah, they told me like three <laughs> foods. So mo one of my, the doctor I first saw when I was pregnant with Tate, he he was a different one than the one I have now, but his wife had triplets. And I know, right? Um, And he was like, yeah, you know, they say don't eat certain foods, but you know, my wife, she ate sushi almost every day and she gave birth to three, you know, healthy babies. And I was like, oh, really? He goes, yeah, I would just stay away from shark swordfish mm. oysters so like the high mercury the high mercury high mercury stuff that's what yeah. i was reading on here yeah um yeah that was literally the three things he gave me and then i did no Alcohol? research well yeah. this too and yeah. <laughs> okay you know cocaine cigarettes weed all the what a the what a sucky meals. life yeah it sucks yeah i'm just kidding I mean, I feel but, like my doctor is pretty chill, though. Like, she even said I could have sushi. I can have deli yeah. meat, but... Good quality. She's like, good quality. Yeah. yeah. So she's like, if you were in San Diego and you wanted sushi, go for it. But right. maybe probably don't, don't take it. Yeah. yeah. Probably just stick Gas towards station. the cooked yeah. sushi. And same with, like, the deli meats. If you just don't yeah. know and you're just going to go to Subway and get deli meat, probably not a great idea. That's been mm. sitting out. But, yeah. For you don't know how long. Yeah. But like at a nice you guys, grocery store, you're probably all right. Yeah. Have you guys done any like secret, secret stashing of food that happened? Secret I mean, stashing? Like so no one sees you eat these things? No. Really? Like what are we supposed to, like what, what secret? I don't food? know. Like anything. <laughs> doesn't Like freaking oh. sour candy. It doesn't matter what it is. I'm just thinking <laughs> like Red of dye. something where you're like, let me have this. And then like no one will find out we're good, you know? Oh, no. no. I don't know. It's not that hard for me to, like, yeah, I would love an Italian sub, but it's not that hard for me to quit for yeah. nine months. 
I, very I've New been Jersey getting Italian you. subs. <laughs> Italian but sub. But what if you get it cooked? <laughs> but yeah, no, if you yeah. get it cooked, then it's fine. Yeah, Potbelly has been like one of my favorite places mm, to go yeah, right now. Yeah, because they heat them. Yeah, they cook them. Mm. The H-E-B subs, maybe. like too. sandwich thing, they'll toast them and oh. like panini press them. Mm. Okay, what the heck is up with the lunch meat and cooking it? Why does that matter? It's lunch meat. kill the bacteria. Yeah. yeah. The, they say it's like cold? high from, what is it? Um, no, listeria. It's listeria. listeria. Yeah. I was say oh, listeriosis. okay. What does is, what is listeria <laughs> even do? What is that? I think it's just like it's a, a bacteria? digestive bug. Know. Yeah, apparently it's very dangerous for pregnant people. Like it's yeah. associated with miscarriages and things like that. Like actually, yeah. Holy serious. Crap. So, so you don't want to mess um, around with the quality of things. The thing you get from cats. Oh, toxoplasmosis. They're, yeah, they're they're litter box. Yeah. You're not mm. supposed to change a really? litter box. Yeah. Now is that from the litter or is it's it from just their from their poop? I think it's from their poop. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Mm. So, but I don't. That's crazy. Do that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have a cat. So. You do that? Do you change? <laughs> well, he, he goes, goes outside. He goes outside. So, yeah. yeah. So I mean, if we go on a trip, but well, Andrew should then Andrew. Too. Yeah, he should. He tried. He tried. He tried. <laughs> he loves the cat. He loves all the animals. Yeah, yeah you have we a lot of animals. Talk about uh, Michelle's chickens. Yeah, let's talk about the farm. <laughs> well, but really, like, what is that creatures? like? I think we so, first need like a background, though, of like where you came from, because I feel like what it's happened. very interesting. <laughs> well, I feel like. I did kind of have experience with farm life, though, because... Oh, I didn't know that. My grandpa had a farm in upstate New York. Really? Yeah. Oh, what okay. kind of animals? So he had everything. Oh. Cows, chickens, goats, pigs, okay. you name it. So I feel like I was kind of introduced a little bit. Obviously, we didn't have it in my home in New Jersey because... Yeah. You couldn't really. <laughs> right. Space. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so you're from New Jersey. Yes. Your relatives had a farm. Mm-hmm. Um, moved around a lot. Moved around right. a lot. Yeah. Okay, but you moved to Texas, and the first thing you do is freaking just... Buy chickens. Yeah. <laughs> I mean... That's crazy. How many Seems chickens? like 11 chickens. 11 chickens. Yeah. Because 11. why not? <laughs> and yeah. build, yes. like, a coop the size of this, like, half this family well, room. Probably yeah, mansion. half this room, yeah. 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 It's like... Yeah, it's crazy. It's fancy. Yeah. yeah. I think there's something to be said, though, because, like, a lot of people are looking at the uh, <laughs> the position of a wife, I guess, in the marriage. Mm-hmm. And people are, I guess, leaning more towards the whole trad wife situation, which is traditional mm-hmm. wife. What's funny about <laughs> I don't that know is... No, has anything to do with raising no, chickens. No, check this out. Well, oh, going back... Okay. Well, <laughs> going, say, back, <laughs> going back to, like, you know... A long time ago, right. that's what happens, right? So, like, the wife was taking care of the farm that's closest to the house, which would be oh, okay. you know, chickens and everything else, right. while the dad is doing whatever, cutting wood or whatever the heck he's doing. <laughs> I'm just imagining, you know? <laughs> I know that that happens Flowering for the wives, the but not... We're you know, right there. No idea, we're right? so close but to But, like, that. little house like, in the prairie all, yeah. all of a sudden, you know? Right. That's what I'm imagining. Yeah. It's pretty much the same thing. <laughs> Obviously, yeah. They're exactly the same. You can tell no difference. I, I think it's crazy, too, though. And it's, like, a whole new thing. Like, what's the learning, learning process for that? The chickens? Honestly, the chickens are super easy. It's I, I feel think like anybody your, can do chickens. Hunter, your cat's been pretty easy. Hunter's been, just, yeah. He's yeah, as cat. long as you freaking feed it tuna and like give it, it like the luxurious well, life he I has. Well, I mean, that's yeah. just because he's so good that I like to reward, <laughs> reward him, him for his behavior. <laughs> Honestly, he doesn't need that to be good. It seems to be working because our cats are just... Wild crazy <laughs> they don't let you touch the only person that they like really let pet them is tate Aww. i don't know why but yeah he'll go he went over there and actually picked a cat up the other Aww, day and they let they him. let him do it they didn't claw him nothing wow, and i'm cute. thinking like i try to pick this cat up and i mean you should see just yikes yeah huh. they're very feral maybe i should feed them tuna <laughs> and Apparently half and half or heavy yeah. cream or whatever yeah honestly wow i didn't know Hunter was not feral, though. Hunter was like a neighbor's cat, right? He, I think they found him as a stray, and then they just brought him in. That is from so what I surprising. Understand. Yeah, a stray from an old couple that died. Like, I mean, I mean you know maybe, what I mean? Like, yeah. I let's know. be honest here. That's crazy. That cat is, is cat. Yeah, yeah, even killed for sure. <laughs> Compared to Maya, it's like a, you know, 
Yeah, she, yeah. Maya's yeah. a baby. Though. She's getting better. I, no, she's no, no, she's on preparing us for parenting. for a child. Oh, 100%. Yeah. She's entering her teenage <laughs> years right as you're about yes, to have a newborn. So that'll be good. It's actually perfect. Yeah, she might calm down and then boom. You know, you know, Maybe. I, I feel like a lot of people laugh at you when they're like, "Oh, like when you say the dog is like preparing you for like parenthood." But honestly, in ways, I really think it does because it's something. So yeah, it's something you have to take care of. You have to put effort into, and. Yeah, they destroy everything. Yeah. So you're waking up through the night in the beginning. Yeah. Mm -hmm. you. Can, I mean, you can't stick a baby in a crate, but. <laughs> right. I mean, in way, just like the responsibility aspect of it. I yeah. Think. Like taking care of another living thing. Yeah. Like something yeah. you have to do every day. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you guys aren't like the entitled moms that are like, there's nothing like it. You guys are stupid. Well, I'm sure there's not. <laughs> well, but. yeah, I wouldn't say like it's. It's not the same, but it's I get what you're saying. Same, it prepares a little well, bit. Well, growing right? up's yeah. a lot quicker in an animal too. Yeah, than in a baby. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Wow. But no, the years. Well, you dogs. can't leave a kid home alone till they're like at least five. At least a baby five. and a dog. It's like six I months. Know. You know, you're good. I'm joking. It's not five. It's like twelve. I don't, I don't know. Say anything put you on the spot, but I oh, probably wait good. a little longer. Oh my gosh. Maybe they can like be in your backyard alone, and you trust them enough not to eat dog poop or whatever. Choke on a rock. With the dog or the no, baby? The, like a five year old. Oh, like you well, might be able yeah. to like. Uh, sort of monitor them in the backyard yeah no i yeah. know you have to wait till they're like yeah. you know at least double digits probably. at least double i don't know i, <laughs> I have no I think idea. it probably depends on the kid too you probably, you know, probably some are yeah. much more responsible that is like others. a great question because i i don't know i can't remember when my like do you hire a babysitter for a 12 year old boy i don't, I don't know. know uh you know my experience on this I'm Wouldn't sure be the Sky same as was like the five-year-old. Sky, like, Sky probably was home alone. I, <laughs> yeah, average, average for me, I guess, is that I had an older, I had a you six had years older brother, brother so oh, yeah. and that helped different. a little bit, I guess. Yeah, it just yeah. we fought all the time, but I mean, yeah. it's fine. Um, but he would push me around a lot, bro. It's crazy. <laughs> anyway, um, boys. yeah, boys, you know, boys, we, too. yeah, it was <laughs> intense. My mom's always just like, stop fighting, and that's you shouldn't want to get in on it, you know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um but anyway yeah i was home alone a lot so but both my parents like worked a lot too so that's why and it, there was no mm -hmm. like you couldn't work at home back then you know what i mean yeah. that wasn't yeah. a thing yeah i'm the fourth of five so i feel like i wasn't home alone for a yeah. very long time oh yeah. wow yeah. yeah yeah what how old is the first one how much older we're all two and a half years apart so what wow he's 30 that seems like kind of lucky Back to back to back. Yeah, no? Yeah, five yeah. in a row. Two and a half, know. every single one. Yeah. That's pretty interesting. Kind of yeah, Michelle, what's interesting. going on here? Yeah. All seven letter she, M's, two and a half years apart. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> she mentioned something in the car that was like really interesting though. Her mom, some, oh. you met your mom <laughs> yeah. in the first one. Yeah. With the C-section. She yeah. had an emergency C-section with her first baby. But why, okay, why is that interesting? Well, well, continue. Then, That's then the first part. she had all natural births after that, and usually, from what I've heard, I don't know if you're not if it's not recommended or I think it's it not recommended on the doctor. Like it's called a V back, is what it's called. What? Okay, Vaginal hold up. Vaginal birth after. No, I, okay. yeah, yeah, it makes yeah. sense. The the name makes sense, but why is it a big deal? I don't understand why the heck it would matter. Because it's still you parts like you can use. You know, cut into your uterus. They're afraid of like. The like stretching afterwards. Oh, crap. Yeah. Whoa, that's insane. A yeah. lot wow. of doctors won't do it because of liability issues. But it's getting more common. It's getting better. Common. That's yeah. good. Be but I think that might, is not a bad thing. No, yeah. I don't. And it, that, I mean, I would be nervous. But hearing yeah. stories like that where you not mm -hmm. only had one, but four more. Yeah. After a C-section. impressive. Really impressive. You know, 20 yeah. years ago to do that yeah. for sure. Yeah. But okay, so on that subject, mm -hmm. <laughs> it's it's pretty clear. Like women have a preference, right? What do you mean? Well, uh, most women don't want to have a C section. Is that correct? Mm -hmm. Some do. Some, Some do. do. Okay, Some so there is a it, yeah. there is a toss up there. Again, you yeah. have to find a doctor that'd be like, sure, I'll give you a C section without even trying the other way. Are there like what are the pros and cons here? Is it just easier? You can plan it exactly yeah. the day you're going to have your baby if you yeah. want a C section. Um, for a lot of women. Um, 
you don't get as disrupted down there per se. So I was going to ask that you question too. Yeah. You still day, bleed, I mean. but you don't, you know, I, I've heard Things of a lot of celebrities okay. getting C-sections per se. Yeah. But isn't yeah. the body like good at healing or no? Is it not that good? Yeah. yeah. No, it is. It really does good. heal pretty good, right? <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> I would hope so. <laughs> like since we're made for that, you know what I mean? I'm just imagining yeah. like, okay, there's a way here. Yeah. Um, no, I, I don't, I would not like after having one, natural i didn't i wouldn't say it was natural but like vaginal not c-section why isn't it natural well i think when people say natural nowadays it takes on like a different meeting like like no medication no medication probably no definitely no injection injection. oh i would imagine that's like a home birth thing or that you know i I got a home birth so it's this right no induction no probably the only thing you get is like an iv are you so whenever you had your whenever you had tate um like I want to go into that a little bit. So home birth, home birth mm. versus like a you were at a birthing center, right? Me? Yeah. Where no, did you? Where's Tate? A normal hospital, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Is there? What are the cons to that? Or were you happy with that? Like as far um, as like stressful environment, like how how did uh-huh. it go? You know. Well, I I I prefer to be in a hospital. I think that's just my preference because I. Well, you were you I, were a nurse, I worry. so. Yeah, right. which I, a lot of nurses are like, I am not giving birth in a hospital because I work there and I see what happens kind of right. thing. But I never worked in a hospital either, anyways. Um, but anyways, I'm more of a person that likes to know that if something goes south, I'm there. Like, even when Tate came out, like, they gave him to me for, like, a couple seconds. And then the, you know, the baby nurse was in there. She was like, I don't like the way he's breathing. So she took him and, like rubbed him and suctioned him and did all these things and like, you know, stuff like that. Um, that I, I don't know. I'm just more air on the side of precaution. I'm totally for home birth for some people. I think it's better for some people. For me, I'm just more worried about something happening to the baby and not being in a place where it can get help. Do you think there's any position for them to scam you somehow? Does that make sense? Like who's it's kind of a brash you? question, but what I'm asking is like, like, is there a way, um, for like a nurse or someone else in the position where you're at, you just had a kid and they're like, we got to do this now. We got to make this happen or the baby might die or whatever. And then you get a $5,000 oh. bill later mm. and, it's, I, and it's not um, a real issue. Could you, I, I could you ever so. imagine that I'm asking? Cause like that, yeah, that I is mean, one of the I, biggest reasons that people would be against it because they yeah. get. They see these things happen and they might yeah. get scammed actually. Yeah. yeah. And, and in the moment you're going to be so stressed too. Like yeah. if you have this baby right. and you, they just pull them out and they're yeah. like, oh, something's wrong. You're going to be like, do whatever you need to do. Like, right. yes. yeah. And yeah. hospitals. That's all you're going to be thinking about is yeah. like, take care of my baby. But. And I'm imagining that. And the hospital is also like, they won't, they don't ask you before they put a band aid on and then they'll charge you $30 for that band aid. Well, yeah. No, that's right? very true. Yeah. And so I'm imagining that the same thing could happen. And it would just be, yeah. you know, exponential. Do you mind, could you share, like, how much did it cost to have a kid in a hospital? Um, Like, with insurance and all that? I, I'm, yeah. not, I'm not sure about um, the cash portion of it. I, I know how much I paid after insurance. So, like, your copay, essentially, is what you paid? I We paid, or like, or our whole hospital bill, me and Tate included, I think was, like, $2,600. That's not that much. No, it, it wasn't bad. It's not but as much as I was expecting. We also had... Like one of the better insurances, we pay a lot a month for it, so I don't know how that right you know evens out at the end. Yeah. Um, but yeah, no Tate's bill was actually very low. I was surprised it was only mm. like five hundred dollars. I did get another portion in the mail after we were gone and stuff from the pediatrician that was on hand that did the, like the circumcision, and that yeah. was like one hundred fifty bucks. Yeah. So. What are you guys thinking about that? Like, what are you going to do? You're going to go to a hospital or a birthing center or what are the different choices actually? If you guys can explain that to me because I've heard a there's lot of a names lot of for choice. stuff. Yeah, there's a lot yeah. of choices. You could yep. even do like midwife in the hospital nowadays too. Well, okay, yeah. I thought, so it's yeah. not just you go to the hospital or you go home? No, you mm-hmm. could go to a birthing mm-hmm. center as well, which yeah. is normally run by midwives, like mm-hmm. licensed mm-hmm. midwives. Who okay. run, um, I think they have to run under a doctor too because they're... Like they're not, they're not a doctor. So like, yeah. And they have to have like a hospital affiliation. They yeah. all do. In whatever. case something happens. Cause sometimes yeah. they have to transfer people. Yeah. If something happens. Are yeah. there certifications for midwives? What do yeah. they get? Yeah. 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 I think. Okay. Uh, do you have to be a nurse? I didn't think you had to be a nurse. So. I wasn't sure. I, I know think a lot of them are though. Yeah. Yeah. 
Um, okay. But yeah, no, I've, I, I have somebody I know that just gave birth at home and everything what? went out. Everything went perfect. Really? And yeah. So do they have great. someone come to the house? Mm-hmm. She Most had a midwife do. and um, a lot of people do doulas. Okay, the yeah. girl yeah. that like makes sure everything's like going good and gives you the no. She's more of like cheerleader. Teaches you how to like have a baby. <laughs> oh, like how to breathe beforehand different positions. Like I think they start teaching you these things early on, and then okay, that makes sense. At the labor, they're yeah. the main person. That and are I think like, they're kind of your advocate too, and they yeah. kind of guide you and like yeah. you have your plan beforehand. This is what I want to yeah. happen, and they're kind of on hand to make sure that happens for you. Yeah. Mm. Huh. Whereas I think a midwife is similar, but more like more medical. Have I the would, baby, yeah. yeah. So what are you guys gonna do? Well, it's a little late to change. I mean, I guess it's yeah. not too late, but right, uh, I just have a typical OB, and we'll do it at a hospital. Yeah, same. Why is it late to change? Because you already have a relationship with the, the doctor. Well, <laughs> well, that and like money they don't know too. Me. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I mean, so an interesting thing, though, about, like, all of that birthing from home or midwife or birthing center or whatever is, from what I've heard, everything has to be not perfect, but, like, in a way, you have to have no problems, no issues. So that's the next thing, right? So, like, me, not an option. Like, what does that risk even mean? Like, how far? I had high blood pressure. So that's a no-no. So, yeah, I know. So, um... Well, because it's, it's like, what if they, do they test it multiple times? My blood pressure? Yeah. Cause like you test it once and it's like, could have been a one-off. Like, I, I don't oh, know. I'm no, just no, thinking no. like. No, this was like an actual, like I had gestational hypertension. So I was like pretty blood high. Blood pressure for the whole pregnancy. Blood more pressure. Or less. Yeah. I think I was. Towards the end maybe. I think. So. Yeah. I was like 26 weeks when it started. Oh, a tape? Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. What? So, I mean, so for me. Had I have wanted a at home birth and I had planned with a midwife and all these things from the very beginning, like you're supposed to do, I would have been told, okay, sorry, but you know, you've got high blood pressure, so we can't do it anymore. So you had to, ch- oh, that would be an abrupt transfer change. you to their associated So yeah, whoever practice, doctor OB, they whatever. work under, whatever hospital, mm-hmm. then I would have to go get a, go get a different doctor, not a different doctor. I mean, hope I like that doctor that they work with. Yeah. But then it's like a whole, it's a game changer because from the very beginning, you've had this mindset, like you're going to have this home birth and this and that and the other, but like, oh, well now that your blood pressure is high, like you're too much of a risk, you know, things could go south. So you're going to be in the hospital. I've heard of somebody planning this whole home birth thingy and then like, couple weeks out i think at 35 weeks her platelets came back too low so they said sorry we can't have them at home you got to go to the hospital so yeah what I just, what i don't get is that like you know what happened to freedom i'm just saying like what are <laughs> well, we doing here dude not, why can't like, you just like do it like is it just okay fine go just, ahead it's but it's your own li- risk it's all liability yeah. right well and i'm for sure me, you could say forget it i'm just I'm going to go and jump in a lake somewhere and have a water birth. See y'all later. You You could do that. Would you be on the hook for like being like child neglect or something? Yeah, like you intentionally made a choice where you knew you weren't in the bed. Like having a baby in a bathtub is not, it's just crazy. If you know you have some kind of medical Mm -hmm. issue. Mm -hmm. I bet there is that. A medical issue. Come on, platelets too low. Medical issue. Like, let's be real here. Well, okay. Well, that could actually. Yeah. I don't know. I guess like, could, blood pressure, like, high blood pressure. I was going to say low platelets you know? are kind of You're a right. big that's, deal. Yeah, that's not what I should have said. The high blood pressure thing that can go. But yeah, that can definitely yeah. Yeah. be bad too because that affects yeah. the baby. Yeah, and no, you yeah. could do like the. I don't know if you've heard of. <laughs> it could have, be bad, but yeah. let's be real here. Like, I didn't no. have like preeclampsia you never know, or guess, anything, yeah. but it can cause like seizures and even high blood pressure can cause bleeding because you your your body is not you're not clotting off at. The normal rate, so yeah, I'm a guy, so I guess All that's why things. I'm looking at it like this. Maybe I shouldn't, but yeah, like it it's like a the thing where, too. uh, it's like yeah. a thing where like how what's the percentage here of like you know bad things that might happen? I guess, and I'm like, man, well, there's always a bad, thing. there's always a bad always thing, there's always a bad happening. thing, right? Yeah, I mean, I I don't know. So for me, it was more of a like, well, I liked my doctor too, and honestly, right. I had a great experience. I did get induced. It wasn't my. I, I didn't necessarily like go into it saying I want to be induced like yeah. uh, that wouldn't have been my first one. But in the position I was in with everything that was going on, it I felt like it was the right thing to do. And right. I did not feel pressured into it at all. And then it ended up 
going perfectly normal, is perfectly calm, well taken care of. Like, honestly, I have like next to zero complaints about my hospital yeah. experience. That's great. So, I mean, I, I just think it's different for everybody. Sure. And you honestly, you, you can do your best to plan, but at the end of the day, you have to be okay with anything. Right. Because, I mean, you could be two hours into pushing and they tell you he ain't coming. Oh, we're, no. We're giving you a C-section. Yeah. Okay, well. Wow. I and mean, then what do you, you do? Have to and that's do. where I'm talking. That's what I'm talking about mainly. That's where it's like, whoa, 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 hold or up, hold up. Or let's say your baby's you know? breech. Baby's what? Breech. What does that mean? Feet first. Oh, is that what that means? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Freaking. You want a head first? <laughs> yeah. That's crazy, the goal. dude. Daredevil is what he is. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well. <laughs> um. Wow, so, Michelle, what I are you mean, gonna yeah. do? Plan is hospital. Hospital. Yeah. Yeah. Do you guys have the same? Are you guys using the same hospital? No. Uh, why no, the heck? Why? So. What's going I don't on think here? Any of us are really. Mm-mm, I don't no. understand that. You guys are all friends. Don't you guys get together and just say, "Hey, let's use the same." No. 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 Mine's mine's really far. <laughs> <laughs> I don't blame them for not wanting to drive to Arlington. I There's, mean, I mean, Mansfield, I know, right? Or is it actually Mansfield, Arlington? Yeah, the yeah I mean, we're very Mansfield. close to mine right now. Yeah, because yeah, I'm same. going right. Over okay, I get, I get, I get it. It's the location of that too. Doing downtown Harris, or I thought you were southwest. Like, there's a million Harrises. Like yeah, do you go yeah. down I go off twenty right all the way? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Harris uh, Methodist Southwest. Baptist. Yeah. What is it? No, it's Methodist. It's a Methodist, yes. right? Yeah. <laughs> uh, cool. Wow. There you go. Nice. But yeah, we're not far from that either. Yeah. And yeah. you're not far from that at home. Yeah. Did you, have you guys switched doctors at all? Did you guys say I don't like this guy? I'm out. I have not. I liked my mm-hmm. OB, but I she is actually on maternity leave right now, <laughs> <laughs> so I'm actually going through all the rest of the doctors there, which is yeah. kind of nice, just in case she's on call. Yeah, when I go into labor, then right. I might have to be with one of the other mm-hmm. doctors. So yeah, I got okay. lucky. My doctor was actually the one that was with me for Tate. So that's nice. I liked that. Yeah, I don't know if that'll happen again, but we'll see. oh man. Well, I mean. From things that have been going on, I have I feel like this will be more yeah. planned. <laughs> do you want to do you want to talk about that at all or no? I want to ask you beforehand, like oh, your per- current whole... pregnancy, what's going on with it? Oh yeah, I don't care because I don't really know I'm a lot sure about it. I'm sure we all have different things happening to us, so yeah, yeah, for sure. Every pregnancy is different. I just didn't know what the big deal was, I guess, and that's why I want to hear it from you. You know what I mean? Because mm-hmm. like so far, you've been a lot different than the last pregnancy. Yeah, this one way different for that's, sure. Yeah. I think with Tate, it was fairly easy until the blood pressure stuff happened. And then I was like, oh, then it got a little, you know, iffy. But even then it was still like fairly normal. Um, yeah. The, this first, this second pregnancy, the first like eight weeks were like horrendous. <laughs> I somehow ended up with like, I, I want to call it athlete's foot, but I don't even know <laughs> if that was, but it was like itchy feet. Um, and then I had like, seemed like food poisoning to where like just wasn't throwing up but the other end like all day long to the point where I lost like almost 15 pounds um whoa I didn't tell you that no I really thought I told you that I don't know why you would but that's crazy (laughs) yeah um so I weighed (laughs) that's crazy I hadn't seen myself at that weight since I was in eighth grade really yeah that's wild yeah I think I see you guys a lot so it probably wasn't noticeable to me, it the was fluctuation. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, and also, well, I mean, you're like also winter, pregnant, so we were all winter, like yeah. bigger, yeah. Back, like yeah. And you're pregnant, so like if you if your yeah. body changes, I'm gonna be like, wow, it, you know, true. I'm not gonna like, you <laughs> know what I'm saying? Say like, come on, let's be honest here. I'm gonna try to, yeah, yeah. Even I guess it's pregnancy, <laughs> <laughs> you know, <laughs> just like no. I guess. That's it. <laughs> but yeah, no, I think that um, I think I lost a lot of like muscle mass. Believe it or not. Well, I believe that. Yeah, I think. Especially just, if you're not able to eat right, like eat enough yeah. protein and stuff like that, you'll definitely lose muscle. Yeah. And so I think that kind of like just <laughs> screwed up everything. So then yeah. after that, I was starting to get like this horrible back pain, which I know both <laughs> of them are also having back pain um, to where your pelvis is just like not aligning correctly and the hips are like essentially popping in and out of place all the time and causing your muscles to just be on fire constantly. Um, but I did go see pelvic floor therapist who was incredibly helpful. And I did not even know they exist until this go around after being like super desperate. Yeah. There's a specialist for everything, right? Yeah. They can make money off of it. They're going to make a specialist out of it. So well, what do you tell you? What do they tell you? I will say she really, really, really helped me. That's good. Yeah. A lot. Yeah. She showed me like 
she told me to get the ball. <laughs> now we all have one. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, you guys are listening, not watching. We were all on physio balls. Yes. Um, it's just been yeah. great. Um, and then, yeah, just different exercises and stuff. And I've really seen an improvement. So Have you had any problems? Yeah. Have you guys any had any problems? Like as far as like normal pregnancy problems go, like, you know, like random things, like you have itchy feet all of a sudden or like, that was just a or like food thing. poisoning. That didn't happen with Tate. You didn't have anything weird. Like I'm, I'm thinking like no. there's weird stuff that happens to everybody with this pregnant. Does that does not yeah. happen? I think my thing has been sciatica, which yeah. is the what pain, is that? But that's pretty normal too. Um, it's like the it's your sciatic nerve, which goes from basically your lower back like down through your legs, on each side. Okay, and it kind of gets pinched more or less. Oh, okay. So I went to the chiropractor, and they told me more or less it's because my pelvis was like out of line and one side was mm-hmm. off balance so they're like oh one leg is like slightly longer than the other like that could be causing this pinching and discomfort so they kind of do an adjustment and we'll see how much it helps but and it yeah. goes all the way down your leg yeah the Wait, nerve the does nerve she asked does. me how yeah. far the pain went and i was like oh i don't know it's like kind of stops you know upper thigh like it doesn't really radiate down more and she's like oh okay and i'm like it goes further, and she's like, "Oh yeah." I Some people feel be. it to their, you know, knee and yeah. beyond. Like, yeah, oh, I'm very thankful I haven't had that. But what do you mean we'll see though? Wouldn't that be fixed immediately if they did an adjustment? Are you going to do well, multiple I don't know. adjustments? I went to, I'm going to get multiple. I went today, and it hurts worse now than it did before. <laughs> no, no. So. I wow. Well, okay, because I think happening. like okay, so if I'm there and my like hips aren't in line properly, mm-hmm. and like they just now push on me and pop me and adjust me. Now my body is like, oh my gosh, like now I don't know what, what just happened. Do. Like yeah. this is different. You have to so you like it takes out. a day or uh, two or yeah, I don't yeah. know. This is what I'm hoping because it's worse than it was. So right. And they also told you some interesting things about like I know you told him that he was still sideways. Oh yeah. So trying to get him to flip to where he's not breech. Yeah, right earth? now he's breech, so that trying means he's like laying across. You want his head down. They can do that. They he better I, while I, you're pregnant. <laughs> yeah, inside. or do they just hope he flips. They, I, I think it's a natural. Pray to God that he flips, it's I guess. a natural some, thing, but oh. some of them need a little help. I was thinking right. chiropractors in here like doing no, this magic no. well, and just like boom, he flipped. There you is know? there are things OBs can do. It's ECV. I don't know what it stands for, but it's like external something, and they Ooh. like externally mm. manipulate and like Ooh. push around. Whoa. I've heard it's very painful and yeah, it's not we, necessarily effective and there's a lot of risks to that as well. <laughs> so it's like optional. So what you're yeah. saying is. But the chiropractor was telling me some things and like we're going to go over them in our my next session or two. Yeah. Different things I can do to help encourage the baby to flip on his own. There's and just, get in the right position. Oh man. But so sometimes babies helps. don't flip until the last second. Yeah. So you don't know. Like the fact that he's not flipped at thirty one ish weeks. 31. I mean, I, you still have time. Yeah, and like yeah. they still have plenty of room to turn. But I think but if you get to thirty six, thirty seven, like yeah. you're almost fully grown and you're not flipping, like yeah, he might almost be stuck in that position. So yeah. we gotta. I'm just encourage like encourage that to happen sooner than yeah. later. There's but. a reason that we don't remember. The moments coming out of the womb, you know what I mean? <laughs> no. I'm sure that it's not like a pleasant terrible. experience. Oh my no. god! Imagine being like all nice and cozy, just sleeping, getting fed, yeah. like no work, and right. then the other thing ribs. I've heard is like the the head shape. You know, when a baby comes out, oh, yeah. all squished, yeah, squished. yeah. yeah. It's weird, right? Now. Never seen it. They're I don't like know if I even want to see it. On the face, yeah, yeah. They, get they look completely different after like a week. You're like, oh, this is the same kid. Yeah, right. <laughs> this is my kid. Any problems yeah. with you? What have you had? No, I mean, I've things. had back pain, but I have not had it go, like, all the way down my legs. Oh, yeah. Sciatica, yeah. whatever, yeah. <laughs> right. Um, Do you feel like you know where he's at? If I think he's down pretty far. Because then I also have, oh, like, yeah. a lot of, like, pelvic floor pain if I'm, like, mm. walking. Yeah. Like, do you feel like he's, like, head down at this point, probably? I don't know. You don't know? Like, do you get like, a lot of kicking up here? Yeah, where do you feel your movement? Yeah, I honestly feel movement literally everywhere. Like I feel like he's <laughs> doing like some, some, I don't know what. Well, maybe he's down there. Maybe just all his limbs. That's he's true. Because like I felt like a kick on this side while I'm feeling something going on the oh, other really? side too. Yeah, I pretty well, much only yeah. feel it on one side, so that's why I think he hasn't changed position. You know, it could also be like everywhere. where did they tell you where your placenta is? It's in the back. It's in the back. I don't know okay. That, did yeah. they tell you where yours is? No. no. Hey, what's the pro- what's the position of placenta? I thought placenta was everywhere. 
No. Like just yeah, I thought placenta was the whole thing. Like just that's encased the in placenta. No, I know that's the uterus, but I thought <laughs> so I thought it went Yeah, hilarious, right? Oh, oh, oh I'm the guy. All right, listen. So the uterus I thought was there, obviously. It's like a balloon. Yeah. And inside the uterus I thought was placenta covering the baby. Is that not how that works? No, no. I think there's this like, like what is it called? The gestational out, it's all covered in- sac is what we were talking about in the car. I think mm-hmm, that's yeah. what covers the baby. I thought that was called the placenta, so it's not. What's the placenta? The placenta is like, it's an organ, like actually an yeah. organ oh, that your body grows really? during pregnancy, mm-hmm. and it attaches to the side of your uterus, and it can attach anywhere in there. More often than not, it yeah. attaches in the back, but some it's people have what, it in the front. Like feed the baby. Oh. It's the, it's it's the, the one part, yeah, yeah the connection. It, that's where the umbilical cord goes from the placenta to the baby. Whoa! That's where all the nutrients so it's like picking up from. all the nutrients in your body and then just yeah. freaking taking that. That's crazy. Yeah, I didn't I'd know like that existed. To know how like, your body like, thought it just automatically the baby is was, a you know, leech. Like yeah, I want to know how like the nutrients get from like us to that. Like, that's what I'm placenta. saying. I want because it's just inside your body. I, I it must be something with it's pregnancy. Not connected like, to yeah. kidneys or anything. To matter what you eat, like you see people yeah. have the worst and unhealthiest pregnancies, and like their babies come out fine. Yeah, or like I think when you were pregnant, you're exactly like the. Baby is number one, and like yeah. the rest of your body, it's like screw you, baby first. <laughs> yeah, but uh, yeah. So uh, there sounds like. Did they tell you where yours is at? They, they may have like in my first visit, maybe. Yeah, because don't they have? They need the like an ultrasound to tell. Yeah. Well, mm-hmm. I think it depends on when you go. I know at twenty weeks they they probably look at it more. They like check like that. There's two arteries. Yeah, they in do a vein all the measures, all that stuff. measurements. Yeah. Aren't but the measurements I off, was though? too focused on finding out the gender in the 20 <laughs> week appointment. Yeah. I don't think for the placenta they don't. It's not. Or they're not worried about it? I, well, not like the, the weight or like the length of it, I don't think. But like they, but sorry, what I meant whenever I said measurements are off, I meant like their normal baby measurements. How off are they? Do they have a percentage? For the baby? Yeah. They, I think they said 15% somewhere. 15% yeah, is what they like told me. 15% mm-hmm. off? Yeah. But I will say like they were off a, lot. a whole pound on Tate. Really? Before he was born. So going well, back to- When you go from seven to eight pounds or whatever, that is about 15%. 15, yeah. Right? He went yeah, yeah. from I mean, it's well, seven to six. Yeah, I guess so. so whatever that percent. Sense. That's about 15, yeah. So. Big money. I'm asking that because, yeah, yeah, yeah I've talked to- huge. A couple pre- that we've talked about previously that yeah, yeah they have oh, the yeah. the the early stages right now or whatever like it's twelve days behind or something like that you know mm. I think that um, they are just wrong about their due date if and everything I, else I, is measuring well, and I yeah. said that proportionally yeah then I would guess I would it's so too. just you're wrong on your due date or it could just or be a you're small just baby yeah, a little baby yeah right and There'd I said that both ends of the spectrum so. so last night we had a little night a worship night thing mm-hmm. and I talked to him about it and he's like yeah you're right man it probably is just that we just don't know. So that's why we were freaking out yeah, at first, fair. you know, yeah. Yeah. I guess they've had an appointment since then. And he's like, okay. the d- I said, well, the due date could be off. I'm listen. I'm the, I'm <laughs> like, why am I doing this? <laughs> like, why the heck am I doing this right now? I'm like, you know, I don't have kids, but <laughs> the due date could be off, you know, yeah. <laughs> like, uh, just because of what I heard, you know, yeah. from uh nice ladies like y'all. So <laughs> yeah, I think tell you me just about pregnancy. Know. Some yeah. babies you know. are small. They yeah. just are. Yeah. And some are big, some and they are totally fine. Either well, way. so on there the, have to be both ends of the spectrum. So on yeah. a uh, on a previous podcast, I actually brought up and I it was a joke. I said women are weaker than men. We're moving on to a different topic, by the way. <laughs> that is a lie. And I, I first of all, wanted y'all's reaction to that, but I said it was a joke, obviously, in the last podcast. Uh, but that's what I, I was on my intro when I was like, women are weaker than men. And then I was like, this is against the grain. Let's get to it. Did you actually get into it or no? Uh, or not really. Well, because we're not allowed thing. to talk about that. <laughs> what? Oh, Because we're, we're cis white males. Oh, you know, okay, we can't. Okay. Yeah. Not like us specifically. Yeah, sure. We could talk about that all day. But it was yeah. a joke more or less in the intro. That's why I didn't throw it in the actual topic. Because <laughs> if we actually got into it, it'd be like something, you know. Yeah. But I will ask y'all. It's I, obvious I, that I, I know what y'all are going to say, but like, I just... Not, uh, it's like different for everybody, I guess, but I just wanted to know like what you guys think about the differences in women and men. If I think women are stronger. <laughs> well, that's, yeah, but yes, they are, but that's not. I'd say in, in like some aspects. Ways. Yeah, yeah, in some aspects, right? Say, in different ways. We're talking about pregnancy right now, so it's pretty obvious there's a huge, you know, <laughs> right. elephant in the room. <laughs> I I don't think most men that I know <laughs> would want to deal with the discomfort for yeah. nine months. Boom. Yeah. I agree. True. Even though, yeah. Yeah. But also, like, 
having the baby obviously yeah that's a given um but not even just having the baby like the first few weeks after the baby like first few months like the recovery and then yeah so before you you guys were pregnant right uh ever did you guys were there a lot of different things you could tell about like womanhood like what is it like being a woman versus a man before this is a hard question (laughs) the reason i'm bringing this up i know i get that i'm bringing this up because of the current culture we live in that's all right how it's going back to the what did you refer to it ad trad Trad wives? Trad wives? Not necessarily <laughs> that. Now I'm talking about the trans movement, but yeah. Mm-hmm. So, like, I, <laughs> I, I, I'm I, trying to figure this out. I want to know, oh, like, if I, I were to ask you, what okay. is what is womanhood like? Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, I know it's a broad question. I get it. There's a lot of things different. Everything's different, pretty much. But, like, what are the main sticking points that you would say, like, this is what it is to be a woman? Yeah. Hmm. For you guys, what is that? where does that land? It's a big question, but, like, if you could summarize, maybe, like... Well, there are obvious biological differences. Correct. You know, women in men's sports, that's not going to happen. But men in women's sports, that's an advantage. (laughs) Yeah. Okay. Yeah. When we get to that, for sure. 100%. I know. I know. I know. I'm ready. Let's do it. Let's bring it up. But I, yeah. Right. I don't know. I'm still like, yeah, I guess I kind of err on more of the traditional side of things where like, I feel like. Um, yeah, I was being more philosophical here. So like, oh, okay. Like, well, I, I will get like into that though. <laughs> man being head of household is just the right way to go about things. Okay. You know what I mean? Um, to and an this extent. This is probably a lot. I mean, we might have a biased view as from a biblical perspective. Right. I That's why I said yeah. I know what y'all's in answer will sense, be. So. Yeah. Right. That's why I said I know what y'all's answers will be. But like. Yeah. I mean, I feel like, um, I don't know, something I've learned in marriage specifically is like, learning to be like more of like that supportive role submissive yeah submission was never a like a bad term no, until I now think like modern yeah. days have made it yeah. a, a bad thing but it's people not think of it as you're being abused right you think of this word it's just a word and it means that you're supportive way yeah it's always going to be taken in that way yeah right but yeah i feel like it definitely like i feel like women sometimes struggle in that supportive role uh what do you mean by that culture is pushing so hard for the independence of women and like do you mean that women can do more and do it better than any man can yeah and that's what society wants us to think nowadays Mm -hmm. they want to think you can do anything without a man and maybe you can but i don't know that you should it's not better for you yeah Mm -hmm. i don't know yeah. I, now wow. I think being a mom too at this point, like it's really like put it into a different perspective because now, well, I guess I, I do provide something financially to a degree, but not the whole thing. You know what I mean? So like being supportive to him, trying to support us, sort of thing, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like he's trying to make decisions based off of what he thinks is best for us, and I have to work on being supportive of that. But still, like, being able to input my opinion, and obviously my opinion does matter. Doesn't know. matter? Does matter. Does matter. Yeah. Sorry. No, I said it, does matter. I know. The mic cut off. It wasn't you, so I had to make sure you said it yeah. again. Yeah. yeah. No. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely, like, having a baby, like, I, I don't know. I feel like I rely so much on him now, you know, where, where before I totally did, like, rely on him, but now... Like, oh, wow, you know. Wow, what's interesting is I feel like you'd say the same thing about you. Like, as far as, like, because you have the kid, you know what I mean? Uh-huh. And you're oh, with like Tate more than he is. Me. Yeah, yeah, you're with Tate a lot more than he is right now. Yeah, and so I that's think something that, I don't really think about. <laughs> very interesting. <laughs> but that just goes to show like, that's the that's balance. True. Right, it's it just, a good yeah. Balance. yeah, it's yeah, like a I'm jigsaw sure puzzle, if you right? Ask Nolan, or, you know, the same question, but, like, in reverse, he'd probably be like, oh, wow, I didn't realize how much I relied on her yeah mm. because i mean without me that's what i'm saying he, what, he would exactly say that <laughs> he, would, yeah. he would definitely say that you yeah 100 like, percent. we've talked about it already so yeah. like on our previous podcast we've talked about like fatherhood and all that stuff yeah. you know because i oh, no. why wouldn't i bring that up why wouldn't i bring that up because they're they're gonna be brand new fathers and no one already is a father so it's like you know 
one yeah, of those things that I, matters, I, especially in this yeah. time frame. What right now where we're living in a social media age and all those things, mm -hmm. uh, how are you going to do this whenever you have a kid that asks questions that are new, mm. not the same questions that you've been asked previously yeah. or like in generations prior, like this question right like here. <laughs> so whenever you're going Perfect to school example. and, you know, one of the kids dresses up as a lion and she says she's a lion and all this stuff. Mm -hmm. What are you going to do with your kid? What are you gonna, how are you going to explain that to your kid? <laughs> I'm hoping to homeschool, so hopefully I will not have yeah. these I kind questions. Of there it is. Nice. Is this like everyone? Homeschool, everyone's going to homeschool? Or are you going to do like some uh, sort of hybrid sure. kind of program? Um, or just I'm sure know. like as it, as it goes on, I'll need to do some sort of hybrid, whether that's like co-ops because i'd want them to have some sort of social interaction oh, definitely. um and maybe some online courses of things that obviously i don't know everything <laughs> i'm not a teacher sure. yeah. no no yeah i get that so yeah, we're I'll not even close to, to there that. yet right yeah. it's like five years or whatever yeah, yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. something like that four years like when no, would you start homeschooling start school same thing as kindergarten right like four or five yeah preschool yeah. probably. I mean you start yeah. you do school you before then younger. I get yeah. it but it's not yeah. the same type of thing anyway but I think that these questions might come up anyway yeah not, like I feel like right. there's a potential for maybe later probably not when they're super young because mm -hmm. they're going to be homeschooled and they won't be around kids that much and if they are around kids they're kids that you guys probably choose mm -hmm. you know what I mean like they're the families you want them to be around but like when they're 15 and they're normal and they're hanging out with people yeah, it, you can't hide from it at this point. It's I'm, out there. I'm going into this very lightly because I don't know what's going to, I'm not sure. How you guys see this? Oh, they're not going to hang out with anybody. What are you talking about? You know, that's, that's what I'm expecting. I'm like, oh, crap. <laughs> that's what I'm expecting, you know? Yeah. But I feel like there'll be questions, you know? Mm -hmm. So, I mean, I just don't yeah. know. Like, how are you going to answer that? You know, you're going to answer it all? You're just going to no, that's just the worldly things. Sorry. What was what was the question? What the question Still the same asking? question, just they're older. So like, like are, how would you respond how are you going to dismiss this? Even though you don't want to deal with it, what if it does happen? What are you going to say to them? I wouldn't just say it's wrong and dismiss it. I would probably give like the biblical reason of why it's wrong. That's what instead of just say. like dismissing it and saying no, yeah. we don't we don't do that. Yeah, I don't you give think the reasoning it's, behind yeah, it. Yeah, 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 I don't yeah. think it's right to like pretend like it doesn't exist. Right, like you you. You point out that it's wrong. And yeah. I think that in a lot of society right now, people are scared to point out that it's wrong. Like they're afraid to say these certain things are wrong because, I, and I don't know why. I don't, I, I feel like in the Bible, it even says like you, you don't stay quiet on those things. Right. You point them out. Sure. You know, and you still love people that are that way. You right. don't block them out. You don't, mm -hmm. you know, all those things. But when they, are doing these things, it's, yeah. there's nothing wrong with pointing out they're wrong. Are you going to do the same, same thing, Kara? Right. You have the same opinion on this? Kind of in agreement, yeah. 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 Just on the wall. <laughs> <laughs> I just Busy feel wall. like when yeah. we went to Laterno, I feel like a lot of kids showed up just like completely oblivious to the real world. And I'm lucky I was not one of those. I went to a very big high school, so I experienced okay. everything. <laughs> but I feel like a lot of kids showed up and didn't realize the things that were happening, and they got and it's kind of lost in like them. Yeah, are, and I'm like, you know, like I, that's I'm not, not mean, against right? homeschooling. I've definitely considered it, but at the same time, I if I do homeschool, which I I know you guys agree, like not shielding them from the world. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, there's definitely they need a, to be exposed to protect yeah, them to protect them exactly. I, yeah, I think the harder, so like if they go to public school the hard things will be answering questions about what's going on. Yeah. The harder thing for homeschooling will be Exposing pushing your it. kids out. <laughs> will be actually pushing your kids out on purpose. Yeah. Because you're, you're going to have, like there's a balance to have. And so either yeah. way, you're either going to have to pull back or you're going to have to push. push forward, yeah. And you're, it's like up to you whether you're good at being able to say, okay, go ahead and experience this mm -hmm. stuff or you're good at come back in. And yeah, they listen right. to that, you know. It's probably dependent on the kid, too, like, as far as, like, how they are to you. Yeah, you I know? think yeah. that's one of the main things. Like, I think we'll have a better idea of what our kids are like when they're four or five years old. Mm -hmm. Like, what we think mm -hmm. they need right. and what we think well, can will you, be better for them. Can you see a personality in Tate already? Like, you can, can't you? Like Absolutely, yeah. And I, 
we just got him into like a MDO program. It doesn't start till August. And I'm super excited because I feel like he needs that. I feel what like is the MDO program? Mother's Day out. Okay. It's just like with a church. Is it like daycare? Monday, Wednesday, I think 9.30 to 2.30 or something like okay. that. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Like um, daycare. Okay. Yeah. So, but I think he needs it only because he, uh, I don't want to say he's shy, but like he's not very like talkative per se. <laughs> um, and he, other than church and stuff, you know, we were the first really of any of our friends to have a baby. So it's just him. And, you know, yeah, I was, gonna, I feel like with the second one, it's not really going to matter. He's going to have like all these kids around him and Tate to play with. And socially, like, I think the talking thing isn't going to be much of an issue. But then again, Tate might be completely normal and says as much about, you know, as an 18 month old should say. And I just, I feel like he doesn't talk. <laughs> I don't know. So now that we've made our rounds then, yeah, women in, <laughs> sorry, men in women's sports, and that's a current event right now. Everyone's talking about it. Everyone wants to know, you know, what is right, what is wrong. From our conversation right now, I can already tell that we already probably agree on this, like mm, men yeah. shouldn't be in women's sports. But really, I want to ask, when there's, it's obviously biological differences and all those things. Mm -hmm. Have you guys heard any different opinions on that? That's hard. In my personal life you're yes. talking about? No. I guess we just aren't around the group of people that has a differing opinion. On I've that. heard different opinions <laughs> online, but yeah. not like. Well, it's like what? Just like the same things? Like, hey, it should be allowed? Yeah, like some people that are for it, some people are against it, and right. then just like arguing about it. Yeah, the but, same stuff, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah the, the arguments for it don't make any sense to me, but whatever. I don't know. I think women have, and like you just explained, women have a place and men have a place, and I don't think people are realizing that. And they want to, like, blend those, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. And we're having, like, a decrease in testosterone and all those things, too, from men because they're, like, not in the same position that they used to be and all that stuff, so. That's mm -hmm. interesting. Apparently. And I wonder if that's the same for women. Like, are their hormones changing? Are, is our estrogen you know what I mean? increasing? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Well, honestly, our testosterone increasing? increasing, right? It would be interesting if that was happening. I don't know. Huh. Yeah. You know? I uh, do you guys get your stuff checked at all? Like your blood and all that? No, I'd like to. Not yeah. hormone levels. Like they don't that. do that before a baby? Like having a I kid? I mean, they, they did take my blood. Your, I don't I know think what they checked. They checked check. check your blood. <laughs> they don't tell you. They, they, they check progesterone. That's a big one. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. that's like the, the pregnancy. And one. like thyroid and I'm sure oh, they really? check estrogen or something else too. I don't, I don't think it was in my panel, but mine also had that might not have been complete. Like I don't know what they there was all kinds of different things. Yeah, TSH is thyroid, right? Yeah. Yeah. Interesting. Because if that's off, like it can cause... What do y'all take a prenatal, right? Yeah. What is that? Yeah. Just vitamins. vitamins. Yeah. That's all it is? Just specific vitamins for a baby? Mm -hmm. Yeah. They say their folic acid is very important. Like, yeah. Being more conscious and Don't they say that? like taking folate is better than folic acid? Yeah, because something about yeah. how it's like... The um, true form or something. Yeah, something about how it's digested yeah. or... Huh. That and Processed, iron, whatever. I Ugh. think iron's in yeah. there. Yeah. Which I mean, have they started you on like extra iron yet? <laughs> no, they told me I'm anemic and said to change my diet. And at my recent appointment, they didn't even bring it up. So oh, huh. what? Well, like, okay, guess it's not a big deal then, because you didn't even ask. Like, yeah. if I'm taking my iron supplements, which I'm not. So are y'all taking anything <laughs> else on purpose? <laughs> Just on the principle of the thing, like, do you I not what, believe what them? more do you want? I if don't you not can... believe them, but what more do you want from me, like? I feel like you just if tell you me can all this. Do... Show me the numbers. Like, yeah, I haven't seen the results of that blood work. If oh, you that's can a good point. Can you ask it it, like with food? Like, wouldn't you rather increase your levels with food yes. as yeah. a like a pill where you don't know where it's coming from? Well, no, of so course. I try to eat more like red meat intentionally. Yeah. Okay, I mean, yeah, eating is always better staff, than taking but... a supplement. Like the yeah. food we get is always better, hundred percent. So I agree with that. It's just that you're not, and I like that. So well, like, <laughs> what are so maybe it's like to my own yeah. detriment though. Like maybe I no. really should be, but like if it really mattered, they would ask. They and would tell ask me why, again. So. Yeah. No, I'm just into. I'm into that whole like. I, I just don't feel like. <laughs> again, I just don't think Western medicine all is always right. You know. Yeah. Like, I what agree. are some things they've told you that you're just like, no, heck no. Is there anything? I don't think there's anything. I don't think what the pretty either. shell. Yeah. Come on, I need some hot takes here. I really like thing mine. For me is He's about cool. the Tdap vaccine. I just had. They just asked me about that. I don't know if they've asked you yet. Michelle. They didn't yet. No. They'll yeah. probably, probably Tdap vaccine. Yeah, it's for 
well, the main thing in there is pertussis. pertussis yeah. And Whooping cough. It's supposed to protect the baby when they're born or something. Is that Yeah, right? they I say like antibodies can cross from your blood to the baby's blood and it'll help protect them earlier on. Is what they, they can't say. get the max. I don't really know. Yeah, but, but we still don't even we still don't even know how the freaking placenta works. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think I'm kidding. They do. They do. Idea. I'm just. I don't have. Yeah. I'm, I'm, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Sky doesn't know. That's the thing that would soak up is. the blood, right? You know, it soaks up the yeah, antibodies. Gosh. You know, pushes uh, it to the baby. This is a very. Like, it's not articulated correctly the way I'm saying it, yeah. but it's more like when the baby goes through the the birth canal is when oh, they get all their stuff. Really? Yeah. What? Yeah. No. No, I really do think I think that's what it is. Yeah, that's when they. <laughs> no way. No. There's no way, I right? The placenta, like the blood. Yeah, isn't that the? Y'all just told me <laughs> the placenta was on the was uterus. Wrong. Well, through well. the birth canal, that's when you got to worry about like the the like strep B test. I don't know why that. I feel like that's what I heard a long time ago, and that's just like what's really? in my head. Wait, like, they get what, their stuff. What, what about, stuff did they, like, get? they get? For something that. about like whenever like. Maybe not the birth canal, but like the actual process of having like a vaginal delivery is what like because oh, of gives all the hormones, all like the antibodies. What? Ah, okay, I, I could be told that could be out of left field. So I don't know. not even Western medicine. I but feel like that's Missy's what mom. my mom told me a long time ago, and I thought I just that's just what's been in my Interesting. head. Interesting. I could be completely. I thought it was just like wrong. overtime exposure through your blood in the baby's yeah. blood, like. Look, I'm not the I guy here, but, but y'all just told me what the placenta was. But we totally and it makes need sense to that that's what the placenta was. It makes sense that, that would, that's what that would be. I thought that's why you needed to get the vaccine. That's why they say you need to get the vaccine earlier in your third trimester so your body has time to start pushing the antibodies through. Yeah, and not just like when you're giving birth. I don't yeah. I, don't think. I don't know. All that to say, I turned it down because didn't they, want it. I didn't want it. Yeah. And they said, oh, well, it's very recommended. Like, we want all our doing? patients to get is this. It? And I still yeah. said no sure because is. I do all my reading on, like, the hippie blogs. And yes. They're like, <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> no, don't ever do that. Blah, blah, blah. And, like, you know, they. I'm sure this is all very that side of the coin all on the crunchy side. <laughs> crunchy. <laughs> but they show, you crunchy. know, they pull X or X, X. They pull little snips out of the like warning label packets yeah. that go in the vaccine. Yeah. And part of it says like, oh, this vaccine has not been tested or yeah. proven Unproven. effective mm-hmm. on pregnant Kinda patients. sounds like the and COVID like, vaccine. Okay. Yeah. If literally the vaccine maker itself says they haven't tested this and there's no like yeah. Yeah, that's studies my- on this, why would I get that? Like if the vaccine <laughs> manufacturer themselves, like just because my doctor recommends it. Right. Yeah, that's what my peptide she says. She didn't test this vaccine. <laughs> so it says like, don't take this, essentially. Know that. It's a research yeah. chemical. You know? I think it's So like, I'm like, why would I? Like, yeah. I understand why, I, you know, I read online that they say, oh, it's the antibodies. It's good for the baby. But like, yeah. Have clearly ever, you haven't studied this. So how can you know that? You don't. Have y'all looked up like, like, okay, for example, when I think I had athlete's foot, like I'm looking up Lotrimin online to see if like pregnant women can take it like literally everything you look up it's like says do not take yeah. not recommended mm. on pregnant people like literally nothing's recommended everything. On every single yeah. medicine or whatever yeah. even tums they're like consult with your physician before yes. and just yeah. and i think it's all just like liability yeah. like nobody wants to say it's safe and nobody you can't ethically test a lot of this either because there are unknowns to okay, it so right this yeah. goes back to my previous point like yeah maybe it's not good for like baby but two percent you know it's not yeah that bad i know i still like, put it on my feet and i yeah. still feel like kind of bad about it but i mean you no, i don't think i don't think you should you know here's my thing though <laughs> i'll say this like i mean chemicals in general just even yeah. not for the baby you know i actually found that anyway. the lotrimin didn't really help with my feet and you know what did was apple a, cider vinegar a concoction whoa yeah. what mm-hmm. so a concoction ice, Cold That's water. Hippies unite, dude. Ice cold water, <laughs> apple cider yeah. vinegar, and a baking soda scrub. Let's Love go. It. I poured baking soda all over my feet and just like scrubbed them. I mean, you can ask Nolan. This was in our kitchen sink. Disgusting, but I had no other But it worked, stuff. right? It worked. Gotta yeah. do what you gotta do. Seems like it Look, worked. It went away in a few weeks. It took a while. remedies are <laughs> awesome, you know? I'm into that for sure. There's something to it because your body can build up a resistance to a lot of drugs as well. I mean, if you take a lot of, like, what do they say, antibiotics and stuff like it, yep. you know, over time your body can 
develop yeah. a resistance of sorts. Yeah, and I just I have a feeling too, like these days we miss so much stuff because of the diets we have now and everything else that we end up having problems that aren't really due to that problem being added to us. It's because we don't have something in our bodies that we to normally fight have. It or like prevent it you know what I mean? from happening. Like, oh, we're deficient on iron all of a sudden. I don't know, maybe our meat is not as freaking iron as it used to be, yeah, you know, and that's probably. that's kind of what I think of, you know. Yep. And then, like, you have athlete's foot all of a sudden out of nowhere. But you did what, lemon and or apple cider vinegar? I was going to say lemon. Would apple cider vinegar, <laughs> uh, oh <my> God. <laughs> apple cider vinegar, iced water, and baking soda. And Besides baking the baking soda, soda I can't yeah. really think of, like, the, the apple cider vinegar in nature. I'm imagining what it might be, you know, that gives there you There were a you million know? different things. The ingredients inside vinegar that would help that, you this know. This there are a lot of essential oil stuff that you could do, but again being pregnant, I was kind of like yeah, freaked like out. Or like, yeah, I don't mm. know, I'm sure there's some that are okay. What? That's iffy, but freaking apple cider vinegar is not? You can drink vinegar. That. You can vinegar. drink essential oils, can't you? Well, not all of them. Oh, uh, so some of them are dangerous. Them. Yeah, and, and oh, no. weird. But you can you can ingest baking soda, you can ingest apple cider vinegar ice water so yeah. like, to me quantity yeah ingested. but you know we, like, we cook with all of that stuff so yeah essentially it's an ingredient it's not like a yeah process thing yeah. Yeah. Is, there, is there any key takeaways from this like key takeaways from pregnancy that you guys want to shout out just don't trust everything people tell you <laughs> that's do awesome your own research yeah Heck yeah okay okay I mean, it's okay to question it oh yeah. yeah yeah definitely i don't think girls know that not yeah. just girls i don't think anyone like Couples probably walk in and they're like, tell us everything. This is something we've never experienced before. Right. You know? And just assume the doctor knows everything. And it's a, yeah, yeah and it's, a, it's freaking human growing in you. So it's like, it's a bigger yeah. deal than anything else you've probably experienced, you know? Yeah. As I if think... the doctor's not running to the back to go Google what you asked. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's not on his freaking WebMD yeah. login, you know? Um, I think findings like either a doctor or midwife or somebody that you're comfortable with is super important. Um, and again, I think remaining open-minded to everything. As in, things can go that aren't as planned. And you kind of have to be able to adapt. And just, baby's here safe, that's all that matters. Like, if things don't go the way you think they're going to go, don't, it's not your fault. You know? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And I, it is I, I wouldn't enough. be disappointed, like... Just because she gave a home birth and I was induced in the hospital. I mean, we both had babies. It was both hard and difficult in different ways. Sure. Um, but at the end of the day, you know. Whatever you're comfortable with. Now you have a baby. baby. Yeah, yeah, now you have a baby, And that's right? all that matters is that you have this baby. And 50 years from now, people aren't going to be like, so how was your birth? And right. I feel like it's right now. No, yeah, you don't I'll, remember it. Like I said, no, for a I reason. No, I feel like you know? right now, like because we're all pregnant, that's just what everybody wants to know. Everybody's going to ask. And then once all of our kids are like in school or school Nobody age, like no anymore. one cares. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you gave a home birth? Cool. Oh, you're in the hospital? You had a C-section? No, that's awesome. I've asked my mom cool. just because. Yeah. Uh, it was regular birth, but it was in a hospital. But like yeah. I asked her because like of all this, you know, I was like, uh-huh. I want to know, you know. She named yeah. me Sky, so I had to ask. I'm like, "Oh, dude, was it a home birth? Like, come on, like, be honest. Was it a Were water birth? High? Was I born in Lake Fork? Like, can you tell me? You know what I mean? Oh, yay! But no, nah, it was normal. Yeah. But yeah. yeah, I was born in a childbirth center. Were you? Were you? Yeah. Oh my gosh, oh, yeah. I need to talk don't to your mom. Yeah. About it. I, don't know. I remember mom, seeing man. the lights and the, no, yeah. just kidding. I feel like she like experienced every form of birth there is, like. Yeah, that's yeah. pretty intense. Well, it's five kids. I mean, you got you got time. I you guess know? do so. all the Let's roll the dice. Like the four in the birthing center, or well, one of no, them was she did the, so the rest of them in then... the hospital. She oh, just oh. did you? me in oh. the birthing center because my oh, nice. older sister was slightly smaller, made it easier for her. <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> so then she had me in a birthing center with like no medication or wow. anything. Wait, so, so what she about, really got the full? Game what about there? your younger sister? And well, then she had my. She yeah. told my dad to videotape her saying never again. <laughs> so then she was back oh, so, in the hospital. Wait, this is interesting though. So mm-hmm. she would rather be in the hospital after doing the clinic thing with you. I think so. I don't know yeah. that she would 
it was just a turn of events, right? Because you happen yeah. to be bigger than your older sister. Yeah. And so and you it was never like, oh, know. crap. She Maybe. chose the, basically, she's thinking, like, I chose the wrong child to not have <laughs> education or anything. What was I thinking? But we all turned out the same. It's not like, you know, yeah. one of us is, like, better off than the other. Yeah. Oh, no, clearly, you guys whatever. are all, like, the same. Uh, she might be like, wow, you know, like, right. that was a terrible thing. It'll be different <laughs> for her. But I mean, like, as far as, like, healthy babies go, we're all healthy. Right. But we just had slightly different. Yeah, births. entrances. So yeah. really, makes, yeah, that makes a difference for the mom pretty much, and that's, that's it. That's cool that yeah. she had such a range of experience. Yeah, yeah. yeah. that is really Yeah, she'd cool. be an interesting topic or yeah. interesting guest. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Have to fly her down here. And, Bro. like, a long for the, time for the ago, next, For the next Prego yeah. pod. Yeah, yeah. Not recently, which is... I feel like used to. Like, I thought they'd just kind of go in the hospital and, like, do Yeah, thing. you know, my grandparents, my grandmas actually said that they used to, like, knock people like knock yes, women twilight out births. yes That's they the would like they would put you to sleep oh, yeah. they'd tie women to beds yeah like and then give them a c-section down. no just make no, no, no just say you're there. about to have labor so like, here you go it's a drug induced state yeah they're oh like you don't gosh. remember anything nothing yeah and that drug induced state is probably like wild I, like they I probably gave them some crazy like heavy bad. cough syrup and then they like, also yeah. used to not let um men into the room yeah the women would just be yeah. alone in there sometimes yeah too, like while you're smiling there. do you want that no oh, okay no. <laughs> she's like yeah like she's dreaming of that day she's like no, no. men in the operating uh, room yeah no. that's funny yeah. holy crap wow we've yeah. gone a long time i think we're good yeah. i mean i think we can wrap it up you know what i mean this has been great yeah thanks for sharing guys Maybe next time we'll talk about something different. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, pregnancy Maybe heavy this time. Yeah. It's Maybe good though. Well, because it's mid it's mid pregnancy, so it's yeah. time for you guys to talk yeah, about this yeah. stuff. That's true. Because yeah. you may not you may not think about it later. You may be like, I can't remember really what happened. They you know? say you right. don't remember, which I is guess why women do it more I, than once. Like, right. I'm really honestly excited not excited, but like curious to see how everybody everybody yeah. like has a kid and it's all gonna be different yeah everybody's yeah. story is gonna be interesting and i just like to hear the last that. thing i'll ask is like any cravings you guys had this is short obviously but mm -hmm. any cravings i've had that's no always the question right all. really i've had zero like i've had cravings like sometimes i want a pizza sometimes i want a burger but normal i've cravings. had that your whole yeah we talked pregnant. we talked yeah. about this right yeah. there's yeah. normal cravings not crazy like, i haven't insane. had any like, wanted anything that i don't normally want I think that means I think that the yeah. better question is have you had any aversions? Like things you didn't want? Like I specifically couldn't even smell turkey without like, <laughs> I still nearly not throwing up and I like meat in general was like I just couldn't for yeah. like the first trimester. In the first trimester I didn't really want anything heavy. So I wanted What does that mean? More carbs? No, like, like like vegetables. What is the, I wanted what is like the a lot of fruits of heavy? and vegetables. That's so okay, strange. Right. And like fresh vegetables, like not even like <laughs> so cold vegetables, cold just foods like that nice are raw. celery, yeah. or like <laughs> nice juicy vegetables no, and no. fruit. All I wanted was bread. 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 Every that, it's carb. The exact opposite. I know. <laughs> I couldn't funny. like stomach of fruit or veggie. Yeah. For like ever, I just wanted bread. But now I'm better. Now I, I feel like I'm fine. Like I don't. Well, yeah, that's what I think. What I, I think it, the think first trimester is the, the main survival. The yeah, main whatever for, sounds good is what you need to. Eat. Yeah, clearly they're getting everything they need anyway. So. Yeah, the little leeches. Whatever. The little leeches. <laughs> Shout out to the little leeches. All right, this has been against the grain. We might change the name for the ladies. We'll see. <laughs> first episode down. You guys enjoy. See you later. Toasty.